Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. 7 a.m. It's a June gloom, even though it's not June yet. She's out there doing it already by herself, nobody else. That's how you do it. I asked the police a couple of days ago when they're gonna remove the homeless people. They couldn't give me any information. Then I asked the park and recs and they couldn't give me any information. I heard that they start removing the homeless today. You see that mural behind me? Mock Rock, AKA Jules painted that. She's famous here in Venice. So I just found out that they're not gonna remove the homeless today. They're just gonna make everybody move that's over the line because they're coming out on the boardwalk. And they said they're not supposed to be over the boardwalk. And they're not supposed to lean anything against the light poles. Everything has to be removed. They have to open up to make a driveway to an emergency exit on and off the beach for the police and the fire engines. This is the old Waldorf Hotel, which has been empty for a long time already. And believe it or not, you see this rooftop over here? This is where Jim Morrison was sleeping. Yep. We'll see where they go next. I right, check it out. The news shopper is here. I think they want to give him a notice, but I don't think there's anybody there. So they'll probably have to write him a note to remove their stuff. They just reopened up the skating ring for the skaters right here. There's a lot of life going on already here in the skate park early in the morning. Cleaning the restrooms. And people started setting up again right in front of the handball courts. They actually talked to him in the tent. Funnel cake and churros. Wow, look at all those stickers here. What? Well, just to let you know, good things are coming. Come down to Venice. Everything is gonna be all right. Don't worry. And then the muscle people can show their muscles again. I'm doing great. All right, all right, man. I'm just looking at you the other day, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. I gave you five stars. Yeah, man. Thank you. What do you say? I gave you five stars. Man. Thank you. Yes, sir. That was a wonderful thing you did, man. And you're removing all the graffiti, huh? Uh, well, you know, yes, sir. That is the goal, but it is an impossible task. That's yes, I do it every day. I try to remove the graffiti so that. Venice is beautiful. That's right. He's Venice beautiful. 
We need the people to come back to Venice. Yeah, you know, all they have to do is uh, tune in to some of the things that you do, and uh, they will come back. They will flood back here to Venice because you are wonderful. Thank you. Is that okay with you to put you on YouTube? All right. I know what to do. Well, I always wanted to get the consent from you, you know. Yes, yes sir. All right, man. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the people that, that stop by and say, you do a wonderful job. They tell me, hey, you know, thank you. People tell me, thank you. And you know, what my answer is, you're welcome. But thank you for just even noticing. You know? Well, thank you for watching my channel. And keep Venice clean. Thank you so much. Same to you. You just told me that you're homeless yourself and you do two jobs. Yes, sir. I am absolutely homeless. Been homeless for two years. And uh, I do the graffiti in the daytime and I do security at night. And uh, I do it because I'm 60 years old and the young people out here to inspire them, to tell them, if, you, if I can do it, you can do it. You know what I mean? And then... You know, the public can see, hey, all homeless people are, if given a chance, you know, we can do the same thing. You know, we can work, we can inspire each other, you know, because what I did every morning was get up and drink beer every morning for breakfast. And then one day I just woke up and said, you know what, I'm tired of drinking beer for breakfast. I'm going back to work. That was in the second week of December of 20, and I've been working in every day since, you know. So uh, You can't get housing or something? Um, well, yes, I probably could, but I don't go in for housing because right now is my time to give back to the very people who I was with, you know, who are homeless like me. So instead of like trying to spend my money on housing, I help people eat. I help people's shoes. I help whatever because, all right, bro, what's up? Because now I can hear people when they cry out, you know, the people that's hollering going down the boardwalk. They are actually crying out for help. The people who are cursing are actually, there's a message of help in there. They may say a hundred words, but only 10 of them were meant for me. And I have to figure those 10 out in order to help them. And so I stay out here day and night because the night is a total different place than the daytime. You understand the nighttime is, 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 is where they need the most help. It's where the most change is gonna come from, is, is at night. And we're not allowed to lock our doors you see, so we have to band together. We have to help each other. And, uh, you know, just keep moving forward. You know, just inspire each other. And you staying actually here in Venice or? I stay in Venice, right here on Market. I've been oh, wow, right I didn't know that. Market, right there on Market, almost in Speedway, which is an alley. Yeah. Well, I never come yeah. out I never come out that early, so I've never seen you, but I see people cleaning up the, the graffiti. And the graffiti I clean, I never touch the murals. The graffiti that I clean, there's a profanity, you, you know, because kids have to come through. Yeah. And then my bosses want me to clean up the gang things, you know, for the visitors and stuff. Um, so, okay, then let's get it done. Yeah. You know, let's just get it done, you know? And, and you're then, just doing your job. I understand exactly what and, you're saying. Yeah, just doing my job, you know? That's all. And, but I'm enjoying it every day. I enjoy it every day. You know, just waking up with something to do, you know? beautiful day that's great man conrad i really appreciate you talking to me and telling me your story i i didn't expect that you know i just uh -huh. <laughs> i could tell you were smiling at me when i talked to you and uh i can tell you have a really good spirit you know and thank good you. smile and i appreciate that thank you thank you and i wish you the best of luck man yes we all gonna band together and we're gonna get this homeless thing solved you know we know the answer you know together we all know the answer you know yeah and that's how we're gonna get it done so, All right, my friend. Thanks uh -huh. for talking to me, you man. Got it, anytime, All right. Man. Anytime, my brother. Anytime. And they're going to start trimming those trees again. That's why they have to remove some of the homeless, too, because they don't want anything falling on the homeless. And look at this. I keep running into Pamela. Is this a sign? Pamela, are you watching? That's you. <laughs> Look at the rats.
poor little rat doesn't know where to go. And just 15 hours later, somebody set up an exact same spot where they just clean. The guy that lives here, he does a great job. He makes everything really colorful. Look at this. He got car tires. Many are here also, not because they chose, but because there is no permanent housing for them. And as has been said here earlier today, people have a right to refuse to be taken from their home and put into a carceral hotel or a tiny shed that is smaller than a state prison cell. That is another form of the increasing criminalization and persecution of homeless people to mask the fact that while they are increasing the number of hotel rooms and tiny sheds in Los Angeles and promising people if you go into this for six months, they don't have the housing to back it. They need to put, and we're demanding that before they come out here today and give a person a ticket, for ha living on Venice Beach at, and for refusing to go to a hotel room for six months because they present to them in writing a promise that there is the housing available and waiting for them if they complete the program. Right now, they are using a gigantic shelter shuffle, the mayor of Los Angeles, Garcetti, councilmen for this area and councilmen throughout Los Angeles are shuffling people into these hotels so they can clear out privileged areas of Los Angeles, like Echo Park, like Venice, for the wealthy. And as the other person said, where are these homeless folks going to go? If they don't go into a shelter, they're immediately going to be going into the neighborhood. If they go into Project Ruchi six months or a year from now, they're going to be back out on this street into the neighborhood. This is not a solution to homelessness today. This is not humane treatment of homeless people today. This is more of the city shirking its responsibility to provide homeless people, not with hotel rooms, but with housing. And everybody here has a right to stand up for the cultural diversity of Venice, the contributions that street people make to Venice, and for the desperate people here, their right to get housing. Thank you. There's the response car. So I think she moved all the stuff she don't need no more on the ball when they're going to pick it up in a minute. The trucks are over there. They're trimming all the trees. They're repainting the floor, putting the Venice canals back on there. It looks really nice when they cut all the old palm tree leaves off. Look at this, we got three lassies here. Lassie! Lassie! <laughs> Whoa, he's shaking up there. They renovated the Venice Pier, and from what I heard, they're gonna open it up for Memorial Weekend. Well, my friends, that was another episode from Venice Beach, California. And if you liked the video, you know what to do. Give me the thumb up, push the notification bell, so you get notified when I upload the next video. And you might wanna subscribe so you actually get notified when I get a new video for you guys. I see you then. Tschüssing from Venice Beach, Muscle Beach, California.